you. Now, our next guest is not your typical beauty queen. In fact, Susie Dent calls herself a 55-year-old tomboy. But on Tuesday, she's set to fly to Nevada in the States to compete for the international title of Miss Earth. Yeah, she is the first Australian ever to compete in this competition. And Miss Earth Australia joins us now from Earth on the Gold Coast. Susie, good to see you this morning. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, we're Thanks excited. So you me. must be so excited. You were actually asked to take part in this pageant. So <gasps> what was your reaction? I know. Well, after I picked myself up off the floor laughing, um, I couldn't quite believe it. Um, you know, at my age of 55 and the fact that I am a tomboy, well, I was until six months ago, um, I couldn't quite believe it. Uh, it was, uh, it, it made my day. But two weeks previously, I'd actually done a lot of soul searching and put it out to the universe that I needed to do some change, have some change in my life. Wow. And then to have the, have, I'm a big believer in uh, paying attention to the lessons, or well, not the lessons, but the, the messages life sends you. And this one was so far out of left field to be asked to go on a beauty pageant, I had to pay attention. Absolutely. Yeah. The Miss Earth competition, Susie, isn't exactly like the Miss Universe pageants. So, how so? Well, um, it's, the, it's the Ms and Mrs Earth Australia pageant um, and it's an eco-aware pageant. So everybody that um, is part of the pageant, we're all into eco-awareness, whether it, you're into saving animals, people, pollution, all sorts of things. Everybody has their own favourite thing that they like to do. Um, mine is um, I like to educate people about um, being nicer people and looking after their personal planet pollution. And when, um, when I uh, got on the website and found out that the Mrs Earth pageant actually support a charity called Souls for Souls that collect down new and used shoes to give to people who don't have shoes, I was completely sold because it's a total no-brainer. A great way to teach kids about the environment and about being charitable as well because um, fashion, I didn't know whether you knew, I found this out, is the second biggest cause of landfill. Yes, it is. Um, a lot of people throw their clothes and their shoes away. So, you know, when you're teaching kids especially about being eco-aware, when you tell them to just turn off the light switch, it's a bit unromantic. So I don't really like that. But when I've done some shoe drives, um, kids are very attached to their shoes and they're very attached to their, to their toys and stuff. And when they know that their shoes are going overseas or in Australia to help another kid actually go to school and get an education and help their parents go to work and get a job and support their family, they have a lot of ownership. So teaching children that way, um, I feel, well, I felt, is um, a really great way to get it across and hopefully raise a whole, um, whole generation of more eco-aware adults. Good on you, Suze. Uh, now, you've, you've indicated that the interview rounds are the most important of the competition. So we thought we'd help you prepare with a few of the commonly asked questions. Oh. So to that end, Susie, okay. what's your most interesting <laughs> talent? Oh, okay, Sam. Um, I'm a really good singer, but I can sing doing a handstand. Oh, oh. pretty good. Oh, I can all right. do that. That's, that's that like, is a very interesting that's talent, like some Susie. Stuff, right? Susie, question two. If you could meet anyone from history, who would it be and why? Uh, let's see. Um, well, because I work in film and television as a hair and makeup artist, a lot of the celebrities I meet wouldn't be that interesting to actually, you know, meet because... Been well, there, done that. And yeah. they've been there and, you know, they don't really want to meet normal people. So, I think I'd like to meet my grandmother again because she's been dead for 14 years and I'd love to have a cup of tea and have a chat and tell her all about her grandson and what I'm doing with my life. That's a really beautiful yeah. answer. Uh, Suze, oh, um, Thank you. Uh, well, you're preparing me, aren't you? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. this is the... You're, you're, you're doing really well. Compared to some of the contestants yeah. we've seen over the years, <laughs> why should you be the next Miss Earth? Oh, look, I should be your next crowned queen because <laughs> if you crown me, I'll make sure that... Every political office in the world is um, headed by a woman, and that all and women will rule everywhere. There and you they'll go. Be, and they'll be allowed to take. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say they'll be allowed to take their dogs to work with them, but that's oh, yes. negative. So no, <laughs> no. We're on board with all those things. Suze, good luck in Nevada. Thank we are you. right behind you, and if you want to follow Suze in the competition, head to her Facebook page, which is now on your screens. Click it right there.